<laughs> Yo, welcome back. Yeah, man, he's nuts. He's done. Lost. He was mad that we only gave him half a sandwich. That's what the first thing I walked in the door. Where's he got a half? <laughs> what, do you, what do you mean? I mean, he wanted a he's sandwich. Like, I got him a half a sandwich. I got him a quality sandwich from downstairs the, from Kramer. It's a good sandwich. It was like two dollars. It was two bucks. Mm-hmm. It's not good enough because he thinks every time he does voice work for us, we now have to we, give him we food. Have to beat him. That was that's my fault. I'm sorry. I mean, I just gave him the burger because I didn't want it to yeah. go to waste, and I knew Dennis would eat it. And I just said, "Hey, thanks for doing all the voice you work for us." You were just being a friend. I don't I know. I was just trying a to be nice. Indeed. I was trying to be nice. I know how much he likes free food. We like his voice work, you know. I but now every time out. he does something, he's got to get food. The guy's a maniac. He's gone. He's nuts. Like I'm, I'm worried about his. I'm worried about his wife. Oof. She's got to get out of there. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> well, no, seriously. All right, we, the other day we were talking to him in the, in the conference room. Right. I guess it was like two weeks ago. And I'm going to myself. I mean, I'm really saying this guy's just flown off the deep end. Maybe he's got like all. I mean, his mind just drifts, and he's just like. Remember the other day he was having lunch with Lisa. Yeah. And then I was like, he's eating with the boss, like right now. Right. I mean, this isn't this is a good <laughs> business decision for him. He's got the craziest yeah. effing laugh. Right. He's nuts. Chap, we, lost it. Like his his one sweet mustache has turned into a creep stash. It's it's, oh, it's scary. well, the, it's the mustache and the long hair that make it. The creepy. long hair really sets it over. He looks top. very disheveled and greasy. And he's always got the same black button up shirt on. He's nuts. He wears it about he's really four cr- out of five days. He's really crazy. Yeah, I chap, I don't that. want you talking to him anymore. Yeah. You notice that? Yeah, <laughs> it's like it's like the God weird na- it's like the weird navy. You can't go near that person's right. house. I mean, don't ask him. Don't ask him to do any more voice work. Well, then we'll have to give him more food. I know, I can't afford well, it. We'll, I guess half a sandwich just I get, isn't going to cut it. It's like, two, I got to buy two lunches every day now. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I got this. Yeah, we got to get somebody out. We got to get a new voice guy. He's nuts. A new backup voice guy. Yeah. And the best part is, as 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 honest as the day is long, we're not making any of this up. This is what he's really like. Yeah. Is it, he's interesting. I mean, it's it's oh, got. He's gotten, interesting, he's interesting right. the way like a hobo is interesting. He's right. like screaming about socialism, you know, down over by... By waterside is interesting. You don't want to get too close to him, but it's like it's like wow, look at that guy. He's crazy. Yeah, he's and, you know, it's very rare. It only happens a couple times in life with people you know, and you see them the rise and fall. And we're watching. That's what it. it was like. It's with with Dennis. I mean, again, we had a nice relationship with him, and we still have one. But talking to him is like talking to a wall. Yeah, a handicapped wall, <laughs> a retarded wall. Shoo, it's not good. It's something that I'm definitely worried about. I hope everything's all right. But I mean, I guess now every time he does voice work for us, we have to buy him food. I mean, I wonder if he takes like canned goods, like the, <laughs> like like a church or something. Yeah. Oh, uh, well, you know, here's here's some non-perishable canned goods, Dennis. There you go. There's some uh, pumpkin pie, some spam. pumpkin pie mix, and uh, some corn. And the, and the weird part is too, you got him the sandwich, right? Doesn't even appreciate it. No, he wants, he wants the, the other half. half. Bring me the other half, and I'll come into the studio. Yeah. <laughs> He's lost it. Well, there you have it, everybody. This is what we got to deal with oh, every day. A bunch of crazy machines mm-hmm. working. I really do. I mean, you know, people can say what they want about us. At least we're not nut jobs. Well, I mean, you know, we're working on it, but still. I mean, I could see myself ending up like Dennis Reedy, which is kind of scary. But I'm, but tomorrow, right now, tomorrow I'm I know he's just going to come in in like a bathrobe and sandals, <laughs> and he's just going to walk around <laughs> going, <that>? <laughs> Where's my commercials? <laughs> He's gonna come in like I, I have just picture him in some kind of Oriental garb. Yep, that's probably common. He's crazy. Think about it, dude. But he's gonna walk and dress as Julius Caesar tomorrow. I would With like Chapel. <laughs> Chapel. Yeah, well, I mean that's where he gets it from. Yeah. What I would like you to do is make a sign and hang it on his door without him knowing. Say, "We'll voice over for food" or something like that. Like you know, maybe get like a piece of cardboard yeah, and yeah. do that. That's good. That's a good idea. Tape it to his. Yeah, uh, I'll tape it. To yeah. it. Maybe wow. when he maybe when he, he leaves. approached you like a hobo. Yeah, it was an attack. Like Bobby and I oh, really? split up. Like, I I saw him. I thought of running towards the bathroom. <laughs> Bobby starts trying to punch in a coat to open the door, and he can't you, do you it quick enough. The door, the, the, the deadbolt was he, on. He literally followed me all the way to the promotion side and back, asking me for a tuna fish sandwich. He's hurting, man. He ain't hurting. He ain't uh, missing obviously. any meals. It's frightening. Well, there you have it, everybody. We couldn't even get him in here because we didn't have the other half of the sandwich. He wants the other half before we'll even think about coming over. And he had to and test you know what it is? You know what it was going to be? He tested, like, just to make sure He's got, good. like, some kind of science and equipment. He was poking and prodding it. And all <laughs> the like, bit, I don't know. I don't all know. the bit it's was going to be enough. was, hey, we come in, we pre- present him with the sandwich, he gets excited. Wow, what nice guys right. we are. We're all on good terms again. And Now it's weird. 
Yep. You sh- the, the AM people should just stay on the AM side. They should make like a whole separate entrance and exit. Like, they should them. make a whole separate planet. Yeah, well, they, they have <laughs> one. I mean, aside, aside from McCraney, who is the you know the king of the AMs, I mean, right. everybody else is like a maniac. I'm telling you, I know. A space sh- a spacecraft long ago landed in downtown Norfolk, and they <laughs> built Dominion Tower on top of it, and they all work on the AM side. Wow. It's like Men in Black over there. I mean, there's just it's a bunch crazy. of nutbags running around. They're all crazy. I know. I'm afraid to drink the water on that side of the building. That's why I go over to the other side. And They're get the spooky. Mm hmm. And Reedy used to be normal, but I think they got the hit. They got him. Probed them, they dude. got him. They took his brain out. He's nuts. It, at least half of his brain is out, the other half's still in. All right, everyone. Well, let's, uh, geez, let's go to commercials and uh, we'll come back. And we'll, uh, we got a lot of stuff to do today. Cops. We got a lot of things to give away. Yep. And uh, lots of stories. So stay tuned. It's Mike and Bob.